As the world faces the escalating threat of climate change, innovative solutions are emerging from unexpected corners of the globe. Among these solutions, carbon removal technologies have emerged as a critical component of climate strategies. Imagine a mega plant nestled amidst breathtaking landscapes, harnessing cutting edge technology to pull carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. This is not science fiction. It is the reality of the world's largest carbon removal facility that opened in Iceland recently. This groundbreaking facility not only represents a significant technological advancement, but also embodies a hopeful model for large-scale carbon management that can be replicated worldwide. Join us today as we explore Iceland's record-breaking carbon capture plant that could change our future forever. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Today, the scientific consensus is clear. To avoid the most catastrophic effects of climate change, it is essential to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, and this can be done if greenhouse gas emissions are reduced. CO2 is a greenhouse gas that traps heat in the atmosphere, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. Therefore, it is crucial to remove existing CO2 from the atmosphere to reach climate goals. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, achieving net zero emissions by mid-century will require the deployment of carbon dioxide removal technologies at an unprecedented scale. These technologies can be categorized into natural and engineered methods. Natural methods include reforestation, afforestation, and soil carbon sequestration, while engineered solutions encompass technologies like carbon capture and storage. In September 2021, the Swiss company Climeworks, in collaboration with Reykjavik Energy, achieved a milestone in the development of direct air capture technology. A facility was built in the town of Hetlesheithi, situated in a geothermal area where abundant renewable energy is available. Known as Orca, this plant's design was innovative and modular, consisting of several containers that house the CO2 capture units. The plant had the capacity to remove approximately 4,000 metric tons of CO2 per year, a figure that may seem modest in the grand scheme of global emissions. But in June 2022, Climeworks broke ground on a second commercial direct air capture and storage plant in Iceland. Called Mammoth, this plant is about 10 times bigger than its predecessor plant Orca. Both are based inside the Hetlesheithi Geothermal Park, which holds a large power plant. In May 2024, work on the Mammoth plant was officially completed, with infrastructure successfully put in place and 90% of the systems operational. Once fully operational, the Mammoth plant will be able to capture 36,000 metric tons of CO2 a year, a giant leap from the modest 4,000 metric tons capacity of the Orca plant. The Mammoth plant makes the most of Iceland's geothermal might with renewable energy supplied by the Hetlesheithi power station. The process of carbon capture begins with the air being drawn into the plant using huge fans. The air then passes through a filter coated with a specialized sorbent that selectively binds CO2 molecules. Once the sorbent is saturated with CO2, the system is heated to release the captured gas. This process can be repeated indefinitely as the sorbent can be reused. Another Icelandic firm enters the equation then, storage partner CarbFix. The company has found a way to mix the CO2 with water and inject it 1,000 meters deep where it naturally reacts with basalt rock, turning to stone. CarbFix says this mineralization process takes around two years. This procedure is employed to limit the impact of heavily polluting plants, such as fossil fuel power stations, as well as industries producing cement, iron, steel, and chemicals, as it's difficult to find eco-friendly alternatives. One of the key advantages of this technology is its scalability. The modular design allows for additional units to be added as demand for CO2 removal increases. Furthermore, the use of renewable energy sources, particularly geothermal energy, minimizes the carbon footprint of the plant's operations. 
This synergy between direct air capture technology and renewable energy is crucial for ensuring that CO2 removal processes do not inadvertently contribute to further emissions. The Mammoth plant's construction and operation are set to have significant environmental benefits. By actively removing CO2 from the atmosphere, it contributes to efforts aimed at achieving net-zero emissions. While the plant's current capacity is relatively small, it serves as a proof of concept for the scalability of this technology. As research and investment in carbon capture technologies continue to grow, the potential for larger-scale projects becomes increasingly feasible. Economically, the plant can stimulate job creation in the green technology sector. As the demand for carbon removal services increases, new jobs will be created in areas such as research and development, engineering, and facility operations. Additionally, the development of this technology can lead to innovations in related fields, such as energy storage and renewable energy deployment further enhancing economic resilience in the face of climate change. Moreover, the plant also explores the potential for carbon utilization. Aside from being stored, the carbon can also be repurposed and sold to third parties, which is an even bigger bonus. This is often called carbon capture utilization and storage. The captured CO2 can be used to produce synthetic fuels, chemicals, and building materials. But there is a catch. According to the International Energy Agency, the vast majority of carbon capture and storage projects have so far supplied to fossil fuel companies for enhanced oil recovery. This means that the technology is mostly used for carbon-emitting oil extraction. This practice undermines the core objective of carbon capture and storage, ultimately contributing to the further release of CO2 into the atmosphere. While the technology does have a role to play in reducing emissions, experts caution that it can't be considered an alternative to the rapid and large-scale emissions cuts needed to avert the worst impacts of climate change. The reliance on CO2 removal technologies should not divert attention from the imperative to reduce emissions at their source. While carbon capture can play a crucial role in climate strategies, it is not a substitute for aggressive emission reduction policies. A recent IEA report estimated that, based on current oil and gas consumption, the world would need to capture or remove around 32 billion tons of carbon to keep global heating under 1.5 degrees Celsius. Only 45 million tons of carbon is currently captured worldwide each year, and scaling up so significantly will put unfeasible pressure on electricity supplies. The available capacity needs to increase more than a hundredfold to make a difference and reach net zero by 2050. Therefore, the transition to a low carbon economy must remain a priority, and carbon capture should be viewed as a complementary tool rather than a primary solution. There are also concerns whether these carbon storage facilities will actually for the long term capture carbon. There are questions about the long-term effects of storing human-produced carbon underground and what impacts this will have. Critics argue that we should really focus on transitioning the economy to clean solutions such as renewables and efficiency, rather than spending money on technology that keeps us locked into the fossil fuel era. After all, the best and most proven way to stop climate change is to keep fossil fuels in the ground. Critics of the technology also point to the huge expense. Climeworks Orca plant sequesters CO2 at a cost of over $1,000 per ton. The company has not detailed the cost per ton of removal at Mammoth, but says it is seeking to reduce costs of the technology to $400 to $600 per ton by 2030. And it has big plans to scale up in order to make its technology effective. Beyond Iceland, Climeworks is developing multiple megaton hubs in the U.S., using valuable experience from its two commercial plants in Iceland. It is part of three megaton direct air capture hub proposals in the U.S., all selected by the U.S. Department of Energy for public funding. Climeworks is also developing projects in Norway, Kenya, and Canada. While challenges remain, the progress made in Iceland provides hope and inspiration for future endeavors in carbon removal and climate mitigation. 
by embracing a multifaceted approach that includes both emission reductions and carbon removal technologies, we can work towards a more sustainable and resilient future for our planet. What are your thoughts on Iceland's new carbon capture plant? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.